Hello my sweet angels, it's Flex. Welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. And today you might be thinking, whoa, 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 whoa. Where is the makeup tutorial? I've done it, it'll be in the description bar. Fear not, but more importantly, we're gonna talk about some lifestyle tips, some self-development. We can have complex narratives. We can talk and love lipstick as much as we love talking about ourselves. And so today I wanna to talk to you about some morning hacks some lifestyle tips for every lazy person, how to wake up and be more productive. For context, I identify as a bit of a lazy person. I know how to um, motivate myself to get things done, but I'm not very great at being proactive and productive. I figured out a few tips that definitely helped me on my journey and I thought I could share them with you. Tip number one, do the most important task, not the task that'll make you feel better. So often I find that when you're looking through the things you need to do, there are definitely things that are high priority that give you dread when you think about them. And there are things that might not be as important that you wouldn't mind doing. So for instance, so I might find that my house is really messy and I've got a house inspection, which it is. And instead of cleaning it and doing the big mountain of the task, I do something smaller. Like I organize my makeup drawers or I rearrange my coffee table or I um, do some laundry. And then so what I find is that I validate myself with these really small tasks. And at the end of the day, I'm tired, I'm spent, but I haven't done the one thing that I was supposed to do. So what I suggest is if there's ever a time where you're like, oh, I don't want to do the big thing, don't do anything. Don't do anything. Indulge in the feeling, do the fun things that'll make you feel better, have a nap, watch a bit of Netflix. And I promise you, once you give yourself the time you want to do nothing, you'll be like, oh, you know what? I haven't done much today. Let me just do the big task. It works a treat for me. I promise. Step number two, get everything out of your head. And often I find when we have a lot going on, it's so easy to compartmentalize in your head. Like you think to yourself, okay, I have to do that. I have to do that. I have to do that. And then what happens is you become so overwhelmed with the tasks that you need to do that you are clouded and you're foggy and you're stressed. And so a good tip that I find is as soon as I think of something that is important, I take it out of my head and onto a piece of paper or a notes app in my phone or a whiteboard in my in my living area. So if, I, if I'm walking down the street and I'm like, oh wait, I've got to send that email, write a note. Oh, I've got to go to the bank, write a note. Oh, I've got to send a friend happy birthday, write a note. And make sure you always go back and reflect on what you need to do. And that'll make you feel much better. Because often I find that when I'm making lists, they're coming from a very literal point. Like send emails, answer emails, uh, check social media. No, those aren't specific. When you have specific thoughts about what you need to do, write them down and that'll build your to-do list. Number three is perhaps one of the easiest and the hardest for me, and that is planning what you're going to wear and how you're gonna do your makeup the night before. There have been so many instances where I have woken up and been like, yep, I know exactly what I'm gonna wear, and then I try it on and there's a stain or um, it doesn't fit the way I want it to or I can't find the product I wanna use. And so my suggestion to you is to have a think about it just before you're going to bed in the last kind of 15 minutes. Quickly grab some options about what you wanna wear, grab some products that you wanna use and put them where you can see them. So when you get up, you're not scrambling and having to make too many decisions first thing because decision fatigue is real. Yes, you can make too many decisions in a day and you can get really tired and really mentally exhausted. So cut yourself some slack, do a little bit of the work the night before so when you wake up in the morning, you know exactly what you wanna be doing or at least if you don't, you're closer to that process of knowing what that is. And so number four, which is arguably one of the most important things is to communicate with the people around you about what you're doing and how you're feeling. Get things out of your head and into the world. Okay, so those are all my tips for you. I hope they were helpful. Um, oh, and please let me know if you have any tips for me. Put them in the comments below. I'm always looking for ways to work smarter and not harder because believe me, I'm trying to get 16 hours of sleep a day. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to do more stuff. I'm trying to sleep more, I'm trying to sleep more watch more TV, all that stuff. So if you got any tips for me, let me know. And as always, thank you so, so, so much for watching. Like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.